Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, January 31st, 2023. I think I said the wrong year on the last video. <laughs> I'm still thinking it's 2022, but it is 2023 and it's the end of January already. I cannot believe it. Can you guys believe it is almost February tomorrow? That's just crazy. And I didn't even think about having a new kit for today. So um, this is not the new kit. <laughs> so I didn't even think about it till right before I went live and I saw my little thing and I'm like, oh, today's the end of the month. I should have a new project. I mean, a new card kit. So I'll have that on Thursday. So um, I don't have a new code either. So just go ahead and keep using that code till Thursday and I'll have a new everything ready for Thursday. So new card kit, new code, new gifts, everything's new. And then tomorrow, um, I just found out they're going to release some new celebration items. So I don't, I don't know what they are yet because they didn't tell us, but, um, some of the demonstrators in Australia, um, I think it is, yeah, well, this, today it was already tomorrow there. So, um, they got the information ahead of us. So I'm not sure if our items are going to be the same as theirs. So I don't want to post anything yet, but <coughs> excuse me, um, make sure you check um, the Stampin' Up! website in the morning for some new stuff. I'm pretty sure it's going to be from the current catalog, the big catalog. It's just going to be more free stuff that you can get with a $50 order, just in case you already have everything that's in the celebration catalog or everything that you want. And... Um, I was so upset today because I had already planned out exactly what I was going to do and then realized I didn't have the stamp set I wanted to use because I mixed up the two stamp sets in celebration. I wanted to use the one in here. Where is it? Hold on. This one. And I'm not sure... I, I could have sworn that I already ordered it. I mean, I really, really thought that I ordered this one. But I had already planned out my project, exactly what I was going to do, and show like a, you know, easy, then medium, then harder version of this card. And I went to get it today, and I had the one that's the host set, which is this one, the Scenic Garden. And I was like, well, shoot, that's the wrong one. So I had to change my project at the last minute. And I had been wanting to use this paper anyway, so I changed it to this. And I didn't even start my project till like 4 o'clock, and I was running late, and I just finished like 15 minutes ago. So <laughs> I've had an exciting day today. I have to tell you about it. So let me say hello to everybody. And I think, I don't even know if I said this is Lisa from stampingwithlisa.com. Coming to you live. So... If you're on here, it is 7.03 now, Eastern Time. So if you are um, in the 7 o'clock range on the East Coast, or um, I guess like on the West Coast, if it's 4 o'clock there, then you're live. So hello, Lynn and Jude and Darlene, Cam, Sherry, Julie, Tony, Sharon, Reva, Jan, Diana, Cynthia. Hello, 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 Terry. Stephanie. Oh, hey, Sandy. Sandy, my best friend in Missouri. Um, Mel, Irene, Ina. Is it Ina or Ina? I know I have another Ina um, from, I think, Germany. Um, Audrey, Linda. Hey, Anya. Hey, Susan. Hey, Vicki. All right. Um, wow, we've got a lot of people. Already 111 people. Oh my goodness gracious. That's a lot of people. So hello, everybody. I'm sorry if I didn't get to you, but there's too many to um, say. Oh, I see Beth. Hey, Beth. I'm trying to catch everybody I know on here. Hey, Sarah. Oh, we got another Freeman. Leslie Freeman from Australia. Maybe, well, we wouldn't be related because that was my ex-husband's last name. <laughs> I wish I could get rid of it, but that's how everybody knows me. So I'm kind of stuck with it unless I get married again. And then I don't know if I want to take another name or not. I don't know. It's too much trouble to change your name when you're almost 60 years old. So I guess I'm stuck with this one. But all right. So this is what we're making. And this is from one sheet of the 
Designer Paper Fancy Flora. So this is this sheet that is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of my favorite ones in that pack. And I'm gonna show you that. So we're using three different pieces of designer paper, or three different packs, I mean, of designer paper. So we're using this pack, which is this one. This is my other favorite one in there. And I know I've showed you this before, but I'll just flip through it real fast so you can see. Oh, this would have been a good piece, darn it. I didn't even see this. I was looking for pieces of soft succulent that I could use as back pieces. This would have been really pretty to put on the back. Oh, but I hate to miss, mess up that piece. But um, So that's why I used the gold one twice because I couldn't find a different one. I wanted to use three different pieces on the background. But shoot, I didn't see that one. So uh, I didn't even look in the same pack. So this is what the paper looks like. And I've already used a lot of pieces in here. So um, this is what I have left in this pack. So that's that. So we're using that pack of designer paper that's in the spring mini. And then we're also using this desert, what is it called? Delicate desert. So I'm using this piece of green soft succulent that's in here. So it's got like a mountain view on the back. And this is some pretty paper too. And I was gonna use the one, oh, there's another one that would have been good. Darn it. Why did I not look at all these? <laughs> I could have done that one too. I swear, well, I was in a hurry. So I was panicking because I only had like an hour and a half to get my projects done. And that's not much time because, you know, for me, it takes forever to come up with projects. So I was struggling towards the end. So that's um, another pack. And then we're using the Distressed Gold, which is one of my favorites. And I thought this one went really, really pretty with this paper. So isn't that gorgeous together? I said, oh, that looks pretty. So I used that one. So that's what we're doing. So three different packs of paper. And um, the gold is in the big book, and then the desert one and the this one are in the spring mini. So um, we're going to be getting these three cards from this one sheet. So out of a pack, you get four of these, which is like one sheet of 12 by 12 if you put them all together. So you could make out of one pack um, 12 of these cards. So three, well, four of each one, sorry. I used to be a math teacher, but I can't do math in my head anymore. <laughs> All right, so I am gonna show you exactly what you need. And, um, oh, you also need the two-toned Flora stamp set. Really, you don't, because that's what I'm stamping on the inside. So if you wanna put something else, you can. If you wanna put a piece of the designer paper, um, like a piece of this or any flower, really, you could put with it. But I just used this one because this is the one that goes with the paper. So that stamp set is the only, well, not the only one we're using. We're actually using some words. I have no idea where these words came from. They were just sitting on my table. So I'm really bad about putting stamps away. So I take them off the blocks, leave them on the table. I have a big giant block and I just stick it on that block. And then the next time I need some words, I just grab it off the block and, and use it. And I never put them back in the box. And, uh, so then I never know where they come from. They go. So I'm just stuck with it. All right. I got a happy mail. This is from my good friend, Sandy, that I just said hello to in Missouri. So she sent me a calendar and it's um, like a 3D thing that you can put on your desk. Every year she always makes calendars for our little stamping group. But now that she's moved away, she mailed it. So I was so excited to get this in the mail from her. So thank you. Thank you, Sandy. I love it. And um, last chance today is to get this uh, card kit in the mail. So if you want this, you can get a set of three, um, the supplies to make three of these cards. And um, that's if your order is over $50 and use the host code. And there's also a host code on my website. If you ever forget and don't ha have this one, you can always look on stampingwithlisa.com and use the one that's there. And um, if your order is over $100, you'll also get these gems to go with it. And then don't forget, it's celebration. Lots of free stuff. A great joining special if you're thinking about buying the starter kit. You could do that too. All right, so let me show you exactly 
what is in this kit. I mean, in this um, project. And let me read some comments real quick. These cards are gorgeous. Thank you, Sue. Um, oh, Susan is sick with COVID. Yikes. Um, Ina or Ina. I don't know if, did you tell me how to say your name? I don't know. I didn't see it. Um, I don't think it's new celebration stuff. I think it's going to be stuff from the main catalog that they just are adding as free things. So I don't think it's going to be like new, new. Um, but that's what they usually do is just add some more free stuff. So, oh, Spice Girl's on here. Hey, Spice Girl. Uh, let's see. Anything else on here? It's 5 p.m. in Utah. Yep, two hour, they're two hours different. I know that because that's where Stampin' Up! is, and I have to call them all the time, so I know they're two hours um, behind us. Oh, Lucy says it's freezing cold. Um, oh, Sandy, you're so sweet. I miss stamping with you, too. Sandy's Sandy was in my downline for, like, forever, 15 years, I think, and then she moved to Missouri to be with her family, and we all miss her. All right, so let me show you what you need for these cards. So first I'm gonna show you how to cut this paper. So you need a six by six piece of the fancy flora paper and we're gonna cut that right now. And you know I have my paper trimmer upside down. So for those of you that that bothers, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I just like to do it this way. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put it this way because I think that's the way it goes. So I'm gonna cut two inches off of this side. So it's six inches total. So I'm gonna take two inches off, so move it over to four. And I'm just gonna cut this piece off. So that's two inches. Then I'm gonna turn this and cut it at three inches, which is half. So there we go. So we've got two, these pieces are three by four inches. And then this piece is, let me put it back together. All right, so this is two inches, and these are four inches by three inches, so you cut them in half. So you have three pieces. This one we need to trim down just a teeny bit, so you can take the um, little bit off the top or the bottom. We need it to be five and a quarter. So I'm gonna take it off the bottom and make it five and a quarter here. You can take it off either end, and then if you wanna save that, you can. If you wanna throw it away, you can. So there's our three pieces. So just do that with um, your cards. I mean, with your cardstock designer paper. Why do I keep saying cardstock? Okay, so that's what I did, and then took off that little piece here. Um, so that's how we cut it. Okay. So those are the three pieces that you need for that, and then you also need three pieces of evening evergreen that's eight and a half by five and a half three pieces of white for the inside and um they're they're all five and a quarter by four two pieces of the distressed gold five and a quarter by four one piece of the delicate desert five and a quarter by four and then two pieces of evening evergreen three and a quarter by four and a quarter. That's for these two pieces. So those are gonna go with that. And then um, one piece of five and a quarter by two and a quarter, and that's for this piece. So that's gonna go with this one. So that's these are the backs to these three. And then, so you need those three. And then you just need some scraps of soft succulent and white for your words. If you're using the same words as me, I just cut, the pieces that are getting stamped on to three quarters wide and then um, that's for the happy birthday and then the one that I'm stamping the thanks on you don't need a back this goes to the back of well this is I'm stamping on this one the one with the thanks this is a funny story so I stamped the thanks on here and it was too light and I don't know if I just didn't ink it up enough or my pads kind of dry so I stamped it and it was just too light and I was like shoot and I had already glued it down and everything, which you never do, never glue your paper down. But I didn't want to cut another piece of this. So I said, well, I'm just going to try and line it up. So I stamped it again. So that's why I've got the double stamping, but it came out really cool looking. So I just went ahead and left it. So 
I would probably never be able to do that again in a million years. So I just left it like that. I'm not going to do it again. Hopefully I won't have to, but um, I'm going to show you a little trip with, trick with this ribbon too. That's really fun. All right. So this is all the supplies you need. I don't think I can fit the um, cards in the picture. Maybe I can fit them over here. I don't know. There we go. We can squeeze all that in. <laughs> Hopefully you can get a screenshot of that. I don't know. That's maybe too much. Maybe move it down just a little bit. All right. There we go. All right. Can you get distressed distressed gold? Um, I don't know. I think you can. Is it is it sold out? Um, I am not going on the cruise. I just cashed out yesterday. So I decided not to go and I'll tell you why. Well, one reason is because I'm kind of scared to travel still. But the other reason is I'm getting my bathroom redone in my bedroom, my master bathroom. And I have been wanting to do that for three years because when I bought my house, I wanted to redo everything because the house was really, really sad looking inside. You know, I bought the house for the view out back because I live on the water and it's gorgeous out there. But the inside of the house needed a lot of work. So I had taken some of the money when I sold my other house and saved it out so I could redo stuff. And then, you know, COVID started and I got a lot of things done, but I never got around to doing my bathroom and I ran out of money because, you know, bathrooms take a lot of money. So um, we're going to set this aside. We're going to do the insides first just because that's the only stamping we have to do. And I'm going to set all this aside. Um, so we need one, two going up and down and one going across. And so I have been saving up money for three years, you know, plus everything was so expensive and I couldn't find anybody to do it. And, um, I've been looking for somebody all this time and I waited till I had enough money to do it without, you know, putting it all on a credit card or something. So anyway, they started today and, um, gutted my whole bathroom so I don't have a bathroom in my bedroom right now so it is weird looking at it because they took out I got the whole entire I'm redoing everything so the tub the toilet the vanity the medicine cabinet the little shelf in there the light um the towel rack everything is gone it's just bare walls and that's and no floor oh the floor new floor so every single thing in there pretty much is new the only thing nothing is staying really nothing <laughs> it's just bare walls <laughs> so I didn't that's why I didn't get much done today because they were here all day long and they just banging and banging and banging and walking back and forth and I just couldn't concentrate so and then I had to go run some errands and so this pad's a little bit dry, but anyway. So this is the fancy, no it's not, it's two-tone flora, sorry. The paper's fancy flora. So you're just gonna ink up, I whenever I have two-step stamping, I always do the darker part first because I think it's so much easier that way. A lot of people do it the other way, but I think doing this way is so much easier. So I'm gonna do the dark first, and then I'm gonna show you how to line it up. And it's so easy. You're just going to be like, wow, I wish somebody had told me that a long time ago. All right, so that's the back part. So we're done with that for a minute. And then you're going to take soft succulent. So that was evening evergreen. This is soft succulent. All right, now see how in this stamp you have the center and it has those little things. And on here, it has the exact same little things right there and right there. So what you're gonna do is line up this right here with this right here, and it's gonna come out perfect. So here we go. We're gonna ink it up, and then we're just gonna line it up with that. That's what you're looking at, that center part of the flower and that center part lines up perfect. So hopefully I can do it sideways because I can't get my head on top. So you just look for that part and Press it down, and there you go. Perfect, love it. All right, let's try it again. 
Let me see if anybody is talking on here. Those cards are so pretty. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. Another great way to use your DSP. Exactly. And I have a ton of DSP. Um, you're as far down as you can get. Oh, stamping, you mean? Does that mean you uh, can't see it? Um, oh, Distress Gold is currently unavailable. Dang. Sorry about that. Good thing I have like eight packs. Huh? <laughs> um, let's see. Then it melted. A lot of people are getting cold weather. A lot of disruption. Yes. And it's so weird because I was in my living room and I have the living room and then I have a hall bathroom and then I have my bedroom and you go through the bedroom into the bathroom. I didn't realize my bathroom is in back of my other bathroom, the hall bathroom. I thought they were next to each other, but I never really kind of really thought about it. So you go through the bedroom and go left and there's the bathroom and it goes behind the hall bathroom. So when they were banging out the tub, I kept hearing my bookshelf shake and I'm like, oh my God, it sounds like they're coming through the wall in the living room and come to find out they were. So when they took out the tub, the bookshelf was right on the other side of the wall, the two by fours. So I was like, ah, oh, no wonder it was so loud because the books were falling down on the shelf. Um, all right, so let's line it up again. So center flower to center flower and boom. And there you go. Perfect. And one more time. So this is a good way to practice. And the other one that go, the other ones that go in this set have the exact same thing. They don't have the little center, but they have other little markings on there that you just line up. And it's so much easier because if you do this first and then do this, it's, it's not nearly as easy. So there you go. Perfect. Love it. All right. So there's our insides. All right. Then we're going to glue these pieces together. So that was my excitement for the day. But I'm, I'm really excited. So we got everything ordered from Home Depot and a couple things from Amazon. So this is gonna go right on my evergreen piece, um, top to bottom, just a uh, um, green on the sides. So it's gonna line up on there. And I picked out some really cool stuff. So I'm doing the whole, you know, my old bathroom was pretty much like this color right here, that like gross, kind of like dirty almond colored. It was from 1987. You know, the almond colored uh, everything. Gross. <laughs> and so was the toilet <laughs> and the sink. <laughs> and I just hated go. Every time I walked in there, I was just like, oh, I hate this bathroom. And the floor is kind of like maybe that color right there. It was like an orangey, bronzy color. Just gross. So that's gone. So everything I'm getting is gray and black and white. Kind of like farmhouse style. So the tile, it's a tile shower we're going to put in. And the tile is going to be like slate colored gray. And for the walls. And then the bottom is like um, kind of a light gray, dark gray, and a teal. Um, like hexagon tiles on the floor and then the main bathroom floor is a white and gray kind of swirly marble color so it's gonna be so pretty I just can't wait all right so we're gonna put the inside of our cards together I'll take pictures and post on Facebook so I took pictures today before they started and then I took pictures like after they got everything out so as soon as it's all finished I will post pictures on Facebook for everybody and I posted a couple funny things on Facebook today. If you guys are friends with me on Facebook, you saw I had a uh, couple things on there that were good. And then I went to post another thing that was so funny. It had this dog with a, um, the owner put a waffle in front of a dog. And it, it was two pieces of waffles. One was 
good and one was burnt. And so you would think the dog would pick, pick the good one. Well, the dog picked the burnt one, carried it over to the pig. They had a pet pig, dropped it in front of the pig, took its paw and shoved the pig's head into the burnt waffle, then walked back over and ate the good waffle. <laughs> I was dying. But then my phone rang, like, right when I was getting ready to post it on Facebook. And so then, like, my, it was on a reel on YouTube. And then that disappeared. And then I was like, shoot, I couldn't find it again. So it just disappeared. All right, so let's do this one first. So we need an up and down. So this is up and down. And this is this piece. So that's just going to go on there with glue. And then... We need this piece first, don't we? <laughs> that would have been good. All right, this piece first. And I love this pattern. But now I'm upset that I didn't find that other piece of green before I did two gold ones. I really wanted three different pieces. And here I go again, gluing this down without stamping my words first. So bad, bad, bad girl. <laughs> we always stamp before we glue. All right, so we're gonna do thanks. Let me ink it up really, really, really good. Because I know that looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna put thanks right here. And, oh, that came out good, okay. Thank goodness. All right, so then what we're gonna do is the ribbon. So if you haven't seen this ribbon, this is called Natural Woven Ribbon. This is in the big catalog, I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive it is. So anytime you have ribbon that's like woven like this, you can cut it and pull, let me cut it straight. Okay, so you cut it straight and then you wanna pull um, one or two threads from the center. So I got two here. So we're gonna pull these threads and then you're just gonna do like, I think it's called ruching when you pull the fabric like that, I think, I'm not positive, but I think that's what it's called. So you're just gonna keep pulling this and you can't cut it because if you cut it, the, the thread would just come right out. So you're just gonna keep pulling this um, and pulling this until you get enough to go across your card. So I think we have enough here you want it to be pretty even looking. So then when you get how much you want, we're gonna take some sticky tape, um, tear tape, it's called tear tape now. We're gonna put that across here and I'm gonna go just a little bit over the edge here. Like that, I probably had a little bit too much here. Let me rip off just a teeny bit. Okay, now I can't get it off my finger. <laughs> okay, all right, and then pull that. All right, so what we wanna do is stick this down here, like so, and kind of mush it in there. So mush it all in, there we go. I probably should have gone just a little bit more up. Oh. Let me see if I can pull this up, hold on. I messed it up, I went crooked. All right, let's try that one more time. Okay. I don't wanna cover my thanks up. There we go. All right, so then we're gonna cut this. I did kind of a sloppy job here, but that's all right. I can cut that this way. All right, so there we go. Then just mush it down, good. Let's see if I can trim this just a little bit more. And you know who I learned this from? I learned this from Shelly Gardner at one of our conventions one year. She did this on, on the stage and I was like, oh my gosh, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. So there we go. Then we're gonna put some little dots. I've got these milky dots and I'm gonna use the ones at the top. 
and get some of my sticky stuff on my take your pick tool and just put that on here. Oops, I don't want that color. Ah! Okay, we want the top color. All right, and then I'm gonna use the bigger one up at the top and there you go. All right, and then we're gonna spritz it. Oh, I forgot my shimmer spray. Oh my gosh. How could I forget my shimmer spray? And I usually have an extra one in here and I don't even have that. Holy cow. What's up with that? No shimmer spray today. <gasps> oh well. You guys know what it looks like with shimmer spray. So pretend like ch -ch -ch, we're shimmering. Oh my gosh, look at it sparkle. Okay, so there's one. So put that away. All right, so now we're gonna go to the next one. So we'll do the one across next. So we need one piece of gold and we need this piece right here. So this card's gonna go across and this is another easy one. So we're just gonna glue these down. And this one we're gonna stamp on a separate piece. I know I need to read some comments. Let's just put that right in the middle. And then glue your gold down. Does it say when that gold, distressed gold, is coming back in? I didn't even know it was sold out. Um, does anybody know when it's coming back in stock? Oops. Let me see. Bathrooms. Oh, I'm missing a bunch of comments. Oh, my gosh, you guys are talking a lot. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, my gosh, I've missed a ton. <laughs> All right, somebody says it's blurry. Is it blurry for anybody else? Oh, thank you, Beth. Um, let's see. I definitely needed an upgrade. That is a, that's the understatement of the year. My bathroom, oh my gosh, it was horrible. And for three years, I've had to look at that ugly bathroom and I hated it. So I can't wait until it's done. Um, A lot of you guys are cold, lots of snow. Thankfully, we haven't had any snow yet and I'm hopeful we've only got about one more month of winter here. So usually by the end of February, winter's over and March starts getting really warm, but we've had a pretty mild dumb winter. Today was about 60 degrees. It really has not been that cold at all this winter, except for Christmas week was really, um, cold and my electric bill is like $300 for that month <gasps> you guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to like share comment and all that good stuff subscribe oh my gosh Australia was 80 oh well Australia is summertime right th in the yeah I know Lucy I'm sorry no shimmer spray how could I forget it was sitting right on the table I just sprayed all the cards and then I left it on the other table in the dining room um, oh, somebody says February 27th is the gold paper coming back. Okay. That's a long time, but not as long as that punch. That punch is going to be out. The heart punch. I ordered that, um, set. Well, not the bundle because the punch wasn't available, but I got the rest of it. All right. For this one, we just need the green. So this is three quarters of an inch by three inches. And we're going to stamp happy birthday on here. So let me get my happy birthday. And for some reason, I keep getting this little line at the bottom. All right, got to ink it up really good. I do have a joke for you guys tonight. I'm hoping I haven't told it before because I just found it at the bottom of a pile of stuff on my desk. I was looking for one real quick, quick before the video started. And I was like, oh. I forgot to do a joke and then I found this one and I'm hoping that I haven't told it before because I don't think I have. We're going to cut a little arrow in this and this is soft succulent paper evening evergreen ink and we're going to put some tape on the back and then we're going to get our other ribbon. This is my other ribbon. Now this is from the holiday mini. The gold um, satin edge ribbon 
this is one of my favorite ones that was in the holiday mini, but it carried over, so it's still available. I actually think it's in the mini catalog. There's a page that has carryover stuff, and I think it says it on there. So you're just gonna put the piece here, and you're gonna make an N. So we're just going up and down, up and down, making uh, the letter N, and then just trim that. I kinda need to go more diagonal though. And then cut that off. So we have an N on the background. Let me see if I can find it, because I think it's a page in the back that has carryover stuff. Here it is. All right, so where is it? Last bit, my new feature. It's not on here, but it is It is carried over. So um, these are some of the things that carried over from the holiday mini. But if you just type in, here's the item number. 159555. So then you can get it that way. All right, then we're going to put dimensionals on the back of this. Just in case you don't have any of this ribbon, because I have like a hundred rolls because I was worried I was going to retire and I really liked it. That's probably enough. So I stocked up on those and the snowflakes. <laughs> I got, I think, 20 packs of snowflakes before they left. All right, so put that like right in the middle and then we're gonna put sequins on this one. So this is the pastel adhesive back sequins. These are in the spring mini. So we're gonna get our take your pick tool again and grab a few of these and put all over. And these are so cute. They come in three different colors, gold and I don't know what the other color is. It looks like um, balmy blue and I don't know, maybe petal pink or blushing bride, maybe. I'm not sure. Probably blushing bride. I don't know if it says it. It probably says it in the catalog, but I don't know. I'll have to look that up. All right. Sh shimmer spray. <laughs> Let me see what you guys are saying. I know you're commenting. Oh, I lost my mouth. I would just want to do this with <laughs> I just want to use my glue as a mouse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's been a day, been a day. Um, let's see. Love the idea of punches, but they take up so much space. Yes, I just bought this cool thing on Walmart. Um, online Walmart. Somebody had posted it and it's a it holds the punches perfectly. It's about this big by this big, and it probably holds, I don't know, at least, I would say at least 30 to 40 punches straight up. And it, it's a very cool organizer. And it's like hard plastic, so I think it would. Um, Pamela, I did not receive your address, and I have your card sitting right here. And I looked... But I don't know where you sent it because I didn't get it in my email. So make sure you email it to me at stampgirl2 at cox.net. Because I did not see it. I don't know if you put it in a comment or where. But, you know, I don't have time to check all the comments all the time. Because I get so many and I I try to go through, you know, like 40 or 50 at a time. But there are so many that I just kind of get overwhelmed sometimes. Um... I don't have a picture of that thing at Walmart. It was only like $6 and it was like a plastic thing. I will I will put the link to it in my description box below when I um, edit the video though. Um, oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it, Tabitha. Um, let's see. And I have a few other cards here too. So if you want a card the other day and haven't, I haven't gotten the address for Lisa V.A. Shaw. And you know what's funny too? I think I told you this last time. When I check the comments on my phone, it has the actual name. And when I check it on my computer, it has it like this. So I'm not exactly sure why. Deborah Broski, I haven't gotten yours. Esther Graham, I haven't gotten yours. 
V Garcia. I haven't gotten yours and Roxanne Emerson. So it's the last time I'm going to say these and then I'm going to give them to somebody else. So if you see your name, make sure you email me stampgirl2 at cox.net. All right, let's glue this one together. Oh, that just squirted out a lot. Hopefully that doesn't ooze out the end. And this one is just a smidge too long, so I'm gonna have to trim it. I love this paper and these colors though. They just go so well together. I don't know who put, picked all these colors, but they look so good. And that distressed gold really, really goes well. But you guys saw in that desert pack, several of the pieces go with this paper. And also there was another sheet in the flora pack that goes with it. So I think the soft succulent background and the gold just both looks really pretty though. Oops. All right, so now we're gonna do uh, happy birthday again. So I've got Evening Evergreen one more time. And I definitely need to re-ink this pad because it's on its last leg of ink. All right, so this is gonna go on our white piece right here, right in the middle. And there we go. And then these two are gonna get glued together. Just a touch. And then I'm gonna do that same um, zigzag trick with this um, word sentiment. So we're gonna put some tape on the back and grab our ribbon one more time and put the letter N behind it. And it just really shows off this ribbon and so pretty. Love it. All right, and then just trim it. Put some dimensionals and you are done. And I didn't even tie a bow today. Can you believe it? I started to, I made a bow, but then it just was like too overwhelming. So I didn't leave it like that. I, I trimmed this up the middle and made it thinner and then made a bow, but I didn't like it, so I, I changed it. All right, we don't want to cover this flower right here, so I'm going to put it right below that. And then I think we're going to use some more of these milky dots on this one. So here's the milky dots. I lost my take your pick tool. Where did they go? Oh, here it is. Okay, so grab some more of these little ones. Oops. Now on this one, I had to stick it right in the middle because I messed up there and got a little mark, but you can put it wherever you want to. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put it, oops, right here. And then we'll put one right here. Oops, I keep wanting to grab the ones underneath, but that's not the right color. That looks more like, um, I think Sahara sand or something. Let's see, let's put one over here. All right, and then we're gonna shimmer spray that. And we're all done, <laughs> except for my joke. And I gotta read all these comments. So we made all these cards. Aren't they super easy and cute? Love, love, love them. What do you guys think? Let me get my joke out. And let me read some comments real quick. Uh-oh. Spice Girls out of here. Paula Newman. Beautiful cards. Thank you. Love those sequins. That they don't have holes in the middle. You know what? You're right. They don't have holes in the middle. I didn't even notice that. And they're all sticky on the back, so you don't have to um, do anything with them. Um, super duper cute. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you, Audrey. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Cynthia and Judy and Mary. Thanks, everybody. All right, you ready for the joke? Here we go. All right, so Elizabeth was an 85-year-old woman who was particularly upset over the recent death of her husband, Edward. She decided she would just kill herself and join him in death. Thinking that it would be best to get it over with quickly, she took out Edward's old army pistol and made the decision to shoot herself in the heart since it was so badly broken in the first place. 
Not wanting to miss the vital organ and become paralyzed, she called her best friend to inquire as to exi just exactly where her heart would be. On a woman, her, fr her friend said, the heart is just below our left breast. Later that night, Elizabeth was admitted to the hospital with a gunshot wound to her left knee. <laughs> and if you haven't seen the video of my mother, <laughs> you'll understand that. Because <laughs> that's where her um, <laughs> breasts fall. <laughs> so... I hope you thought that was a cute joke. I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> okay, you guys. Thanks so much. Oh, my gosh. We have 211 people watching. 212. Crazy. All right. Um, thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed these cards and go make them yourself. They are super duper easy. And you could do this with any piece of 6x6 cardstock out of those packs that we have in the holiday mini or celebration. Well, celebration, there's no six by six, just 12 by 12. But it's an easy way to get um, a lot of bang for your buck with the six by six paper. So um, try it out yourselves. Let me know how it goes. Have a great night, everybody. And don't forget, check out the Stampin' Up! website tomorrow for the new celebration items. And I'll be back Thursday with a new kit, new card kit, new video, new stamp, new... Uh, postcode and all that good stuff. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.